why do underdogs win? They don't have any reputation to protect. They don't have anything to lose. There's an advantage in being naive because you're not protecting any reputation. You just jump in, do what you have to do, and you learn the ropes as you go forward. That's what I'm about to discuss with you today. Let's go. Are you ever fighting a fight that you think that you think is bigger than you? <laughs> David came to a fight with Goliath, who was obviously the bigger one. Every time we come face to face with something bigger than us, the first thing is that it wants to intimidate us. It wants to make us feel that we are not capable. It makes us feel that we are not worthy of this fight, that we're not up to the fight. It makes us feel that we're not up to the fight. <laughs> but important to know, first thing I want to let you know is that yes, you're not up to the fight, but there is someone who lives inside of you who is up to the fight. <laughs> Jesus is up to the fight. You are not up to the fight, but Jesus, the God that you serve, the greater one that lives inside of you is up to the fight. So you don't have to be up to the fight because the one who lives right inside of you is already up to the fight. <laughs> Ooh, so don't be afraid when you come against a fight that you're not up to. God is up to it, no matter what it is that you're going through. So that's the first reason you are going to win. The first reason I want to let you know is that though you're not up to the fight, God is up to the fight. Second reason why you're going to win. Um, look at this story. David comes to Goliath who is fully dressed for battle and David seems unprepared. He's, he doesn't have the armor. He doesn't have all the uh, 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 equipment that Goliath has. And it's a, it's a story that you are very familiar with. But one thing he had, he has God on his side. <laughs> and, okay, this is the scenario. David comes to a unprepared David, comes to a very formidable, experienced Goliath. In fact, everybody told David, you can't win. This man has been a warrior from all his youth. And you are nothing but just a, a youth. Oh, but David said to him, you come to me with armies or and chariots but i come to you in the name of the lord second reason you're going to win as long as you fight this battle in the name of the lord you are going to win but one interesting thing is that as this fight ensued as goliath gets ready and david gets ready Goliath is equipped. David is not equipped. Goliath is fully dressed. David is not fully dressed. <laughs> Some of you feel like you're not fully dressed for this battle, but don't worry. God is fully dressed for it. <laughs> God knew about it before it started. Let me say that again. God knew about this battle before it ever started. You might feel unprepared, but God has prepared ahead of time. God has prepared something ahead of time for you. God has prepared you ahead of time. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Nothing ever catches God unaware. It might have caught you un unawares, but not God. Nothing catches him. He knew every battle you were going to fight before you were born. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. So, Goliath is dressed up and is fully prepared. So, he opens his face as a matter of necessity because he can't fight if he doesn't see David. His armor is decked up, everything, but he's got to keep, Goliath has to keep an open face. Goliath has to keep an open face. And because of that open face, an opportunity arose. Because of the open face, an opportunity arose for David to put in his stone. Op Goliath didn't open his face as a matter of uh, 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 just convenience. He left his face open as a matter of necessity. So for Goliath, it is a necessity 
But for David, it is an opportunity. Mm. The fight was necessary. My goodness. But not just that the fight was necessary, the opening of the face was necessary for the fight. And because of that necessity, an opportunity opened. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Because of the enemy's necessity to have his face open, there was an opening of an opportunity for David. My goodness. So his enemy's necessity is his own opportunity. Oh, glory to God. I came to let you know that, my God, that battle you are fighting, that battle that's before you, my goodness, is a matter of necessity. It is a necessary battle for you to fight. If it wasn't necessary, you wouldn't be fighting it. You wouldn't be in that battle. The fight is necessary. It's because the fight is necessary. And as long as the fight is necessary, woo, there is necessity for the fight. Mm -mm. There is opportunity for victory. So for Goliath, on the one hand, opening his face is the enabling tool. But at the same time, it is his most vulnerable point. Mm. Now, watch that. What the opening of the face of Goliath is his opportunity to see David and the opportunity to fight, but at the same time, it is his most, it becomes his most vulnerable point. So, look at it like this from David's point of view, his, his biggest opportunity for victory is now in the face right in the face of his adversary. Hmm. David's biggest opportunity for victory is right there in the right in the center of the face in the center of the face of his adversary. David cannot afford to look anywhere else but to focus right on the face of Goliath. Don't try to look anywhere else. Don't try to avoid this fight. This fight is your biggest opportunity. My goodness. This fight, in this fight lies your biggest opportunity. The biggest opportunities of your life are in the biggest fight you are ever going to fight. My goodness. The biggest breakthroughs of your life are going to come out of the, of the biggest battles of your life. The biggest miracles out of your life, the biggest testimonies out of your life are going to come from the biggest fights. <laughs> oh, interesting. Isn't that amazing? It's going to come, they are going to come from the biggest fight you are ever going to fight. That's why you ought not to be afraid of adversity because therein lies your victory. Oh, that is why you cannot afford to look somewhere else but right in the face of adversity of, 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 the, of the adversity mama 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 you need to dive in strong and fight you need to look in that enemy in the face david ran towards goliath some of us are trying to run away from a battle when we should run towards it uh, yes your biggest chance to victory is when you don't run away from the battle but face the battle because God is with you. You are not alone. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And every time you put up a fight, there is something in it for you. Every time you put on a fight, up a fight, there is something in it for you. Don't give in, don't give up. This is your moment. Don't run from the fight. One more thing interesting to me. Goliath was able to fight David because he had opened his face. So he can make David. So David has to be visible. Hmm. If he's ever, ever going to have the chance to fight David, he's going to be able to see David. So his first task is opening his face. It's because David must be visible. Yakakas. He can't fight an anonymous enemy. He cannot fight an enemy that he cannot see. My goodness. 
Isn't it amazing for you to realize that the reason the enemy is able to fight you is because you are not invisible. You are visible. You are not anonymous. Uh, you are somebody. Uh, the reason why the enemy thinks he needs to fight is because you are not anonymous. Uh, you are somebody. You are visible. It is because you are important. Important for him. Important enough for him to have to fight. Important enough for him to dress up for. David was important enough for Goliath to dress up and wear all of his armor to fight. You don't know how important you are in God's agenda. That is why the enemy is doing all he can to stop you. It's because of how important you are. Some of you think you're in this fight because you're not important. Some of you think you are in this fight because no one knows you and you're not important. Your life is insignificant. But it's the other way around. The reason why the enemy has tried to keep you down is because of how important you are. Get it in your spirit. You are of great value. You are of great value before God. Yes. Don't quit this fight. Uh, don't give in on this fight. Uh, if the enemy counted you worthy enough to dress up, uh, to deploy all of his uh, weapons, uh, deploy everything in his arsenal, uh, to fight against you, you must be important. Uh, you are more important than you think. Uh, thank you, Jesus. It means you are more important than you think.